Hey, it's Drew here with Learn Guitar with Drew, and today we're going to take a look at the second installment of how to play electric guitar blues. We're going to take a look at two or three, maybe four different options of how we can start to build on uh, that kind of riff I was just playing there. The first lesson was in the key of A, and this one is going to be in the key of E. Uh, so before we dive in, uh, my name is Drew Bentley. The channel is called Learn Guitar with Drew. Um, please hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. In the comment section down below, you'll find links for my websites and lots of guitar resources. Okay, so what I'm doing here is playing a 12 bar blues, but this time we're playing in the key of E, uh, and the one chord is E. If we count up letters, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. A is the four chord, and then B is the five chord. So it's a one, four, five, which is the standard chords used in a 12 bar blues progression. So our first riff we're gonna do here is going to be a um, like a rock and roll chug, I call it. So what we're going to do is play this E power chord like this. And we're going to take our third finger and we're going to put it on the uh, fourth fret of the A string. Like this. So in my world, that's off, off, on, on, off, off, on, on. Off and then on. So what I'm doing is I'm clearing the low E string with my third finger and I'm palm muting with the palm of my hand where the bridge meets the string, and I'm going. So this is a basic rock and roll chug, we'll call it. Uh, this is found in a billion songs, like Chuck Berry type rhythm. Um, everything ever <laughs> uses this rock and roll chug. So if we count this, it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three. So that'd be four measures in our 12 bar blues. The one chord is the first four chords, uh, first four measures. Now we're gonna go to the fifth measure and take that same power chord, just move it one string closer to the floor this time for the A power chord. So we have E, five is here, this is A five. And we're gonna do the same thing. two and three and four, and that's measure five and six. Here's measure seven and eight. Now for the uh, turnaround, well, before actually an official turnaround, B7, measure nine, A7, and measure 10, B7, measure 11, and then B7, so let's go over the scores. B7 is 2A2, 1D1, 3G2, 4 high E2. It's a B7 chord. A7 is open A, 2D2, open G, 3B2, open high E. Go back to E7, which is 2A2. We have open D, 1G1, open B, open high E. So that last four measures goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So here's our um, 12 bar blues in the first and easiest form. simply strum these if that's easier for you okay so that's the first um kind of go around here with the 12 bar blues the first and third finger what i call off off on on okay so let's talk about a fast change blues for a second I could do that same exact progression, but this time I'm going to put the four chord in the second measure. That would look like this. Okay, 
Now let's do another level here. We're going to do the fourth finger also in our rock and roll chug, and it's going to look like this. first was one, two, and three, and four, and now we're going one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and three, and four, and... Now that takes up two measures for that pattern, so we can't do the fast change blues for that one, but um, that fast change blues was just another option we kind of threw in there. So now we have the off, off, on, on, we have off, off, on, on, off, off, on, on, off, off, on, 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 on. That's. So now let's take a look at how we can do a turnaround. The turnaround is um, kind of put into a blues song, I think, to give it some character because we're doing the same um, progression over and over and over again. I'm not going to say it's monotonous, but um, it's very repetitive. And sometimes turnarounds can give the song a unique flavor that makes that particular song what it is. Like certain songs have certain turnarounds that kind of are an earmark for that particular type of song, for that song itself. So the basic, most basic turnaround looks like this. This is a diminished chord. What we're actually doing is playing three diminished chords in chromatic fashion. The E7. To simplify that, we can just make a triangle. Another triangle. Another triangle. And then E7. So with this triangle, you can finger it fingers one, two, three if you want. Or uh, two, three, four if you want. Two, three, four is better for diminished chord and this is just fine too. So we have a couple options when we do this we can play strumming the chord. We can arpeggiate. That's kind of coming backwards toward me. I can also go toward the floor. I can do like a it's more staccato feel like. They're all right. It just depends what you want to do. So what happens is this this turnaround takes place of the last uh, two measures. So we go like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I like to establish the one beat on measure eleven. So it's like two and three and four and one and two and three and four and wow. Now we're gonna go like this. Open A. First fret of A, second fret of A, and then play the D7 chord. So the whole thing sounds like this. Or we could have gone like this. That was open G. The first fret of G, open G, open high E. mix and match whatever you want to as long as you're keeping a beat it doesn't really matter you have to play in time and also make it kind of fit the measures so now let's do the simplest one first
simple simple one first with the uh, fast change blues. <laughs> Same thing this time with adding our pinky. Can't really do the fast change blues with that one because the pattern takes two measures. The fast change blues happens uh, with the four chord on the second measure by itself, and then we can throw the turnaround in, which again is we can do this uh, so the easy one. Okay, so that's all pretty um, pretty easy to do, and you can start playing the blues right away by doing these simple um, these simple rock and roll chugs. Power chord, add your third finger, or add your third finger and fourth finger. Count one and two and three and four, and make sure you palm mute when you do it. And can I keep a shuffle beat? of where you are in the measures. There's a 12 bar blues, we have one chord, four chord, five chord, four measures of one, two of uh, two measures of the four chord, back to two measures of the one chord, five, four, one, five, or five chord, four chord, and then the turnaround. Okay, well thanks so much for checking out the lesson. Hopefully this was um, fun and helpful. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and um, if you're interested in guitar lessons, I do offer uh, online guitar lessons as well. So. Uh, you can send an email to the, one of the links down below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you at the next lesson.